G'day guys, we've used game theory up until now to analyze how people or firms make decisions, but it's been extremely limited in that we only look at how they can make a single one-off decision that may only have consequences lasting over a short period of time. So we're going to have a look at more of a long-term perspective now, seeing how they can continue to make decisions over and over again and each time take new information into account in doing so. So we're going to look at what's called the repeated prisoner's dilemma and the tit-for-tat strategy. And then we'll talk about price wars and how they can be avoided with what's called non-price competition. So the repeated prisoner's dilemma is exactly what the name suggests it is. It's a prisoner's dilemma which is played out over and over again repeatedly. And each time it is played out, the players involved observe the outcome of the previous play, so they look at what strategy their opponent chose. If we go back to the example we used in the previous videos, we saw BP and Shell facing a prisoner's dilemma in choosing what price to charge, so are they going to go with that monopolist profit maximizing price, or are they going to try to undercut each other? Well, imagine that BP and Shell update their prices every single day, and each time they do so, they face this prisoner's dilemma, but in choosing their strategy, they look at what strategy was chosen by the other player the previous day. A common strategy